为十美元的健保计划。我们我们 ，We live right now, man. 二五九六。Public service announcement going down with in city tour with the gardens. Going to have people、uh, learn how to uh, 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 grow their own food, how to process their own food, <laughs> and we're going to be coming to、uh, apartment complexes, setting up on location, and that's what it is, man. Tell me a little bit about that, man. Oh, we ain't got time to play. Let me tell y'all something. Me, I just got so serious, man. All y'all who don't participate, who don't support us, it don't matter. We got, we got. Bands, bands of children that、sure. we are,、uh, uh, they in need of us, and, and we don't and, care. And we trying to help them. So if you don't be a part of this, it doesn't matter because the kids are already doing the work already. Yeah. So here's the urban farmer, Miss Kevin Williams. He gonna talk about what's going on so we get this thing on the road and right now, man. All right. The simplest thing is what we delivering is what the truth is. Basic, simple necessities of life. And if it's one thing that This country was built on is it was built on biblical principles, and、uh, the biblical principle is that God created the heaven and the earth, and He placed man in the garden. And if they know the story, you don't. I ain't got to go through all that. The day was Sunday. If you didn't get it in church, look, don't come to me to get it because I'm gonna tell it to you like I got it. And my language ain't you know proper. And you have to follow the story because you got to realize I was born in 1964. A lot of stuff went down in 1964. I'm the last of the baby boomers. I recently found out what I got came from my mama, who they brought out the backwoods back in the day when they were changing from Democrat to Republican. I'm telling you, my story is significant to everything I do when we talk about growing our community. I was raised. Uh, in and born in Fifth Ward, right across the street from the Criso plant, which we have a problem with now. That these United States, we talking about when the Union Army and the、uh, Confederate Army, and that was after the war that they built the railroad tracks, and they always had slaves on the railroad. All over this country, before they set us free, Lincoln had already signed that they start building、uh, Union Pacific. Southern Pacific been in existence for a long time. They have affected my life. What I'm telling y'all is, there's some history in all our lives, but we got to go back to simple, basic things from the old days. You understand what I'm saying? When you say old days, how old? <coughs> old from days. the beginning. We talking, talking about the garden. Everything、uh, for every problem that we have in the garden. I got my water somewhere. I'm drinking this coffee. I got a, a water over there on the counter. Oh yeah, here's the one. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I'm choking. I'm straining. It ain't from me. I ain't got no、uh, no kind of disease there. Like people can't cough no more. Don't worry about that. Let's just let's just stay on topic right now because right now this is serious, serious issue going on right now. A lot of people in this community don't is not aware of what we're doing, but we're going to make you aware because we're going to keep punching you, keep punching you, keep touching you on the shows that you see. I said, don't wait till everything start getting blooming and then you want to come in and say, yeah, man, we doing this here. No, everybody that's under this tribe is going to be recognized, and we're going to do this thing together. Well, if you want free rides, man. It's not gonna be no more free ride. I'm just telling you. It's gonna be all in the results.、Uh, here's how we do it.、Uh, God put things in seasons. That means that every three months, we're in the first beginning of this quarter. We're in January, February, March. That's three months. We're gonna be in and got a harvest, and we're going through a winter time. I've been wanting to put seeds in the ground. We've been putting seeds in the ground by putting seeds in kids' mind about all the possibilities of the things that they possibly can do now. That make their life a whole lot easier 
in the future and knowing how to get natural resources is one of those things and we can teach all subjects in the garden plus any problem you got in the world i challenge the kids all the time give me a problem that can't be solved in the, in the garden your health uh 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 you know uh feeding your family saving on that pocketbook even making money and even making a living not only that but recycling taking care of the earth giving back what you what you getting from it you know what i'm saying that's what it's about this thing been about land it's been about what you do with the land and the deal is people don't want you to produce from it so here's the main thing if anybody don't want to farm and don't want to garden you ain't helping us you're an enemy because right now no you're an enemy you're on the other side if god made everything plentiful we shouldn't have no problem the problem is there's a dead ear <coughs> to understanding what it is that people, what is good, what 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 is good to you, or what is good for you. It seems like everything that we, people that talk about something good for you, there's a problem of some type of defense. People throw the guards up like some type of conspiracy or something right down. But that's just like when we juice and stuff. Now you done been with me. We was over there New Year's Day. You need New Year's night. Uh Shout out to Sterling Shout Pumpkin. Yeah. yeah. Not, not New Year's night. Uh, oh, New Year's Eve, yeah. You New Year's Eve. We went over there. New Year's Eve. Sterling we out there. Pumpkin. Ginger shots. Straight up ginger shots. Everybody around. People need to stop worrying about somebody out to get you. Anybody trying to out to get you, you know they don't know it. It's too much paranoia. Everybody thinks somebody ought to get them. Right. I don't know what that is, what type of spirit that is on the face of the earth, but I see a lot of paranoia. Like people is like throwing up a defense when they see something good, they want to tear That's it down. People, people want guarantees in life, and, and they want guarantees in life by not putting in the work. They, 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 they want. They say they want a job, but the truth is they want money because they get the job and they realize the money ain't worth the job. <coughs> So um, there's a lot of uh, you, you live around in your neighborhood, how it is in the community, how everybody used to be outside. It's like a ghost town. The spirit of Houston is like real, real. Like I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the independent hype because I be out here the most. But I see there's a movement of um, it's nothing. It's nothing moving. Everything is just like it's just a ghost town. You know what I'm saying? The stores are closing down. Uh, all the properties and stuff are being taken, and people are building apartment complexes so, upon them. So you saying it's people common. ain't? So you saying people ain't sitting? They no, take no. it. People, people don't have a network channel like this here for us to tell them what's going on. Because they okay. took my stuff. Yeah, because a lot of people don't even know why we ain't get why we ain't getting nothing. Yeah, because they nothing taking done. everything. Ain't nobody talking about how to get nothing. You know yeah. What I'm saying? So this with this channel, this with this network, for all y'all know who oh, I am. Y'all know who's made it too. So we're not jacking for clout. We can you know. That we got some things going on. Yeah, from you people. gotta do it yourself in 2022. If you look back and go all the way back, I can go all the way back to 1964. Everybody I don't work with, it's been about the work we put in. I'm gonna show people, watch it. All you gotta do is check me out. I'm I'm doing them little old reels, which is little TikToks and stuff, and I'm showing y'all different things. I got people that willing to give this knowledge and we can build our own industry these jokers got us going through everything we make money to get it in yeah, you gotta hit that button man hit that subscribe to the channel man because we're gonna be bringing y'all relevant information that you can use stuff that you need to know about you know other than because i don't i don't even see the news the regular news on tv no more this is somebody doing something bad and robbing and well, we have a whole lot of uh uh Service stations are closed down around in our community. They had a bunch of people burn up in the apartment today. I heard 19 people in the Bronx. I think that what it was in New York. And and they say that that's something ain't happened in over 50, 60 years. So that's back doing. I remember when people were burning apartments and they were letting them burn up, you know, in there because they say the alarms didn't go off. So this whole thing of like John Branch doing, yeah. you talk about ain't nothing going on. It is stuff going on. It just ain't nothing going on that people used to have going on. John Branch is doing the CERT training, the citizen emergency response uh, training. It's free. All everybody got to do is sign up and show up. You know, we're going to have that stuff running across the nation like that. And the deal is that's where we 
have our own security in our own neighborhood because you know they call them the police and stuff but the deal is we monitor the neighborhood the deal is we want to make sure everybody good in the neighborhood and the deal is just some shit just shouldn't happen you know when we got stupid shit that go down it it, it ain't good for nobody you can't get up and down and i'm gonna tell you how stupid it is they break in over there and the police come over here asking me questions and i they take stuff from me and the police won't even come and show up but every time you turn around, no matter what it is that I'm doing, like I say, if they coming against me, they, they ain't my friend. I got with police officers that come in our neighborhoods and treat us as if we are lower than them or low class, like they got the authority. Because this man stopped in the middle of the street after they was getting ready to leave because he saw me and that I was black because he came and looked in the back of my truck on my property. Yeah. And listen, and ask me, did, did did I see somebody take some wood? And I said, how you know they took wood? Because I know it wasn't none over there. Whatever they took, it was on the inside, or they just got caught looking around in there, because I don't know why they would leave stuff over there, but for the setup for people to go in there and look. They didn't even see nothing. Then the man going to tell me, oh, he fit your description. I said, I know that's a goddamn lie. You a lie. You ain't see the first one, you know? I, I got the video. You're going to see it come out. Stay tuned because I'm going to put my stuff out there. I'm telling you, it ain't a conspiracy that people are against you. You got to remember you do have enemies. And if your enemies are doing stuff that benefit you and the police haven't benefited our community, the mayor haven't benefited our community, the uh, uh, Sheila Jackson Lee ain't benefited our community. I don't care if she did get her kids 10 grand or got somebody to give them 10 rent. Grant, she got access to give the shit to our community. Bars, miles, all them motherfuckers. Oh, I say you're going to be cussing. But listen. Listen. They are not in our favor. We control the politics. This is the people party. And at the end of the day, when I say it's the people party, come this election, all that Democrat Republicans over with. All we got to do is look at who helping us. And if people ain't they spending money for all this election, so let's see if they're gonna spend money with us because we sure got an opportunity. They're gonna show sure want to come get on my mic, and when they come want to get on my mic to give you information, trust me, it ain't gonna be extortion. I'ma charge them. I'm telling you that right now, and I'ma spend it in the garden. Now, I'm gonna show you how everybody gonna participate. Now that's what I'm gonna do. Guaranteed. Yeah, well, we're making a uh, move and change in the community. We have inner city tool. Sturdy Shire Apartments, uh, we, we went set up over there and we start uh, showing kids how to uh, process food and cook the food and eat the food and learn that. Just think about that. Oh, watch this go down. This is what we call, what we introducing to you, gorilla farming. Been doing it. We, built, we put that one out in the middle of the street. You saw the other day. They came down and cut it down, am I right? They had to bring the police over there, am I right? Yep. They couldn't give me no name who told them to cut it down and all that, am I right? Yep. Ain't nobody had no problem with that and people was eating from out there. But somehow that it's a problem. Because in garden, and it's the park and recreation department. They didn't come to clean up, but for two years, nobody touched it. That's what we gonna do at all these apartments, this inner city tour. We going to put the resources right there for them. They are closing down their community centers. They not fixing the stuff in their house. They got kids that hang out. They ain't bad, but what else there is to do? So the deal is you got to teach them how to build. And the deal is I got contractors. BMW Construction. Blessing in disguise. Listen, listen, we finna come out with some stuff uh, where we're going to have where people can sign up, but it's on the job training. I got contractors that's good that I'm going to be telling people that if you got insurance, jobs, all that, I got qualified people take uh, take care of business. That's the whole idea about us knowing each other. You give us business through this nonprofit where we can do on the job training. Plus, we got contractors going to train them to do the job. We creating jobs for our own community. Plus, we can give it back to our own community and fix our own stuff. Right. I ain't begging. I ain't asking. I'm telling y'all, I already got a plan. And if you don't want to participate in win, because you, if you're a business or a corporation or anything, that's an opportunity for everybody to give. Ain't no reason for nobody not to be giving towards what we giving, which we giving back to the earth. We're going to be recycling. 
we're gonna be showing uh kids how to eat healthy and how to get resources and, and, and take care of the environment, be able to take care of seniors, grow more stuff than what they need. Never matter, not only that, be innovative. You know, we talking about skills, trades, and training and stuff that we don't have that we lack, that we can have CNC machines and stuff, 3D printing machine. Put this stuff in the kids' hand, but we sitting here arguing and fighting about what what school they going to and what school got the best stuff in our school. Our kids should have access to whatever in all the schools. Shouldn't be no special school for nothing. I'm trying to say, you know, when we go to the department and stuff like that, outside of what we do, we go out and we bring our music, we bring our kids to perform out there, get on camera and show what we do and let them learn how to process the food. What other than what we have out there, what do they have out there? If we were not there, what would they have out there? Well, they got a... Uh, you said the community center Well, this, this is, yeah, the community center is closed. Okay, so they got a basketball court that got one goal on it. They got a little playground, but the kids not even over there. The kids are sitting on the steps, talking to each other, talking about different things. I I, be, I was out there before we before I ever been out there. All I ever heard was bad things about that place. They talk about that place like they talk about Haverstock or uh, or uh, Audi. What's got? We coming to all them different. We, we come coming your way. Look, all y'all got to do is get ready to everybody to come sign up and say that y'all want us to come and represent y'all. We're going to be y'all represent. We're going to be y'all city council, y'all congressman. Y'all senator, y'all mayor, we're going to be everything for you we because we're going to make sure all of them bring that to our community. We're looking for the lives, 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 talented kids out there from the Havistock apartments or different places that we're going to be going to. <laughs> and this is what I want y'all to know, man. This is what y'all to know that, you know, we, we all want to have fun. You know, nobody trying to start no fight, trying to get killed. We trying to take care of our business because everything that we do we bring all the food that we brought out there came from the ground so tell us about that Kevin. oh yeah so here's the deal this was a mighty powerful thing you know this is a biblical thing too uh say jesus two by two partnership you know where there's two or three gathered in my name show will i exist I showed two little girls, asked them did they want to uh, learn how to roll some collard green rolls. And they said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, go wash your hands. They went and washed their hands. They came back. And I showed two. And them two showed all the rest of the girls, little girls, how to roll them or anybody who wanted to roll them. It just it was mostly little girls up there. And listen, these greens, I just had picked. We washed them. Mr. Ernie washed them. And uh, all we did was shredding them up. And, and roll them into some uh, spring roast and put some garlic and brags in there. And the kids loved them and ate on them and all the people everywhere. They, it's it's a real uh, 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 eye awakening how something so simple could be done. And they was out there enjoying it and putting it together. And then we got together and I told them because I like juice and I like doing toast. You know what I'm saying? So we all toast and we raised it up to, you know, eating healthy and, and what's got and they looking forward to it. So our gorilla farming is going to be about putting those resources there so they can actually grow that stuff and we can actually juice that stuff and have that stuff fresh. And then we'll show them how they can be able to go to markets and stuff. And I show them how to make different things. So, you know, the kids are, are bring you the healthy stuff you need, rat things that 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 up old could be it back in the garden back in the garden of eating you know what i'm saying you know it sounds it sounds good when you say a garden it sounds good when you say the food come come out the ground and anything like it sounds good when you're gonna reap a harvest tell us about the preparation time and the labor behind of uh, getting what, done what you're talking about okay so i can tell you the long version short version i'm gonna give you the short version short version is i go uh and i pick up dirt and i bring it and I do what you call the instant garden. The instant garden is the natural resources of breaking down because I go to the mushroom plant right up there in Madison. Bend. Shout out to uh, Monterey Mushrooms. Uh, we'll, we'll be uh, producing their product and bringing it down here. We got Josh who is a vegan cook and he'll be cooking all the different uh, things that can be uh, cooked out of uh, there. And we plan on doing that as a fundraiser all the way through. And we do that with the kids uh, at, we got South Early uh, School over there, off 288, shout out to them. Uh, uh, they have a garden already over there, and uh, we're going to be challenging all the schools to uh, 
to see how much stuff they can grow out of there. So we're gonna keep our own data uh, on, on who eating it and where it's, and how much they're growing and all the possibilities of what can happen. So we can track our own self about what's going on. But uh, I forgot what you had asked me. Um, asked me about the preparation time. Oh yeah, preparation time. So the preparation time for fixing the just the egg rolls or uh, I'm talking about from. Going oh, they're going to somebody, going to somebody to get lawn that we got like some fields, like 28, 5, 10, 10 acres. You're going to look at that field oh, and you're yeah. going to know what you're going to do first. So we're going to do that in real time uh, for people because we also, also have a friend uh, by the name of Elliot. He's a master electrician. Go to show you e, what I'm talking about. E-U-N, e, listen, know E-U-N, man. listen. Dude is it is cold. In matter of fact, that's where we're gonna be able to show y'all how to uh, sustain yourself off the land with the hunting. We'll be able to train the boys how to use guns and stuff, and what the purpose of them for and stuff like that. We just got a whole slew of things that that right now I told y'all I got I got kings rolling with me. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's what it takes. It take a it takes a tribe. It just takes one tribe to bring all the tribes together, and that twelve tribes, the twelve, 12 tribes of Judah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we have a lot of people. Shout out to man. You know what I'm saying? But right now we don't do that. Right now we gonna talk about <laughs> what we doing. If you want to be a part of, it. but you know what, what we doing is uh just like that. When you say the preparation time for something that big, because he got a certain amount of property out there. This is where we go back to sharecropping. Because he have an idea that he want to do it. I have some resources. He has some resources. So we putting our resources together. So this is how you grow community too. Because we have a relationship of a desire of everything that we need within each other. Right. You know what I'm saying? That so much so he wanted and I wanted. So we that much stronger together. So that's what we proving the point of. What about, what about some of these churches, man? Let me think of churches. What if community, it, uh, community that, church gardens for these churches? Listen, Listen, there should be no church that should not be sponsoring or having a garden because how can you base yourself on that religion and knowing that it all started in the garden and then you don't know nothing about it and the Bible is just slew all the way through about in the garden in the mentality of how you're thinking and what you're doing. Right, right, right. I know right now, man, a lot of people feeling like stressed out anxiety you know your money is short you have a lot of problems in the family everybody's kind of like angry at one another man i'm just saying y'all just hold on things gonna get better we got to find something to do with our time other than sit back and and watch the the telephone you got to turn these phones off turn these instruments off man relax take a chill pill man and pray and just look at what what, what, see what you're dealing with because now we got so much coming in from the media these people is brainwashing us with all this stuff. All this stuff is camouflage to throw you off your game. Yeah, everybody needs to calm the hell down, okay? People is at home fighting and arguing, and we can't, we can't focus. It's, it's, it's blurry because our mind is on who, 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 who going to win first, you know? I don't mind you winning as long as, as, long as you ain't chaos. winning for me. That's the attitude. So everybody is not for what you're trying to do. I ain't right doing now. the chaos. So everybody that won't drama, you uh, drama will find his own. Yeah, yeah I ain't we have to worry about drama. Drama will find you. I'm not doing that's how chaos. it is in the city. So that's why we have to be careful about places that we go. A lot of people are just so angry, they want to mess up everything for everybody. Y'all understand what I'm saying? So we trying to avoid all the drama and get your minds on getting in these gardens and planting this food and watching this stuff produce. That's what we're trying to do. That's what we put. Uh, I just look at it that when we created it, that we wanted to make sure that we was able to sustain the community. And we need to sustain the community through gardening because if I'm growing stuff, I'm always capable of feeding, you know. Yeah, one thing about uh, 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 this, this garden stuff is the evidence of what we're talking about. The evidence of what we're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Oh. So, you know, always have a hater kind of mess up something for you. You know what I'm saying? But you got to keep on going. And ain't nobody going to see you make it. They, they just think they want to see you make it, but they're not really for you. They're really against you. So we want people that's going to help get out there 
and put their hand in the dirt like everybody else, man. You got to put your hand in the salt if you want to feel what we're talking about. You know what I'm saying? You got to put your hand into the plow. You can't just stand back here and just do all your opinion and tell me about your big idea and your I vision. Want, I don't want you ain't trying to help now. Now nobody get nothing done. We don't want these people like that talking to us. That's why we are kind of. If what you want to do, don't fit what I want to do. Right. I'm, I'm so done. We, we, get, we get immediate results off the, off, the way, off the plan how it's been going. So if the plan is going well, you're not going to change it by your opinion. Your opinion don't mean nothing to us. Yeah. You know we planning for spring already. Yeah. Yeah. Been asking people to sign up. It's a lot of stuff going on. People act like they so confused and all that. We in midterm term election. Look, y'all waiting on checks and all that stuff. Ain't nobody created it. You know, everybody only, well, this is what I got. This is what I got. When I, I'm looking out for everybody. Everything I'm doing is about us coming together. You know, I'm saying that everybody that have something to offer. Like I told y'all, watch who I'm building with because I'm actually reconstruction, reconstructing several different pieces of property and I'm behind well, it's going to make that, it. gonna make that, uh, make that uh, 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 law right now. If you can't deal with me, you can't chill with me. Oh! Yeah, don't even put come a, by. Don't stamp, come by. Don't come by. Put a stamp on that. Put a yeah. stamp on that. Okay, yeah. We've been here trying to uh, wake people up and do a lot of community outreach and stuff. And a lot of people really turn their head, man. It's How long you been doing it? 30 years. Listen, I got out of prison in 1994. Was it 1994? The needs of the people are more important to what you talk about. Yeah. 90, I got locked up in 88 and got out in 94. Did yeah, seven years and nine months. Well, let's, let's talk about let's talk about uh, our resource center where you can come out. You got an interview. You want to interview your business. You want to broadcast. You want to talk about uh, your storefront. You selling something. You got something to sell. You know, we, we're not just sitting over here. Uh, just us over here. We do. We just us. It's all of us together trying to take things, take over everything. Yeah, but we can't be selling stuff that ain't good for our community. I, I want you to understand something. That. I want you to understand something. Everybody's not doing what we're doing. And we know that. That's why we got to blend it up with the agriculture classes. We got people that only not grow no flowers. We're doing on the job training. Yeah. And tell them about the boxes. We got the boxes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We got the boxes at the school. Here's the way that we take care of the gardens. Uh, if you know a company uh, uh, or friends, family, uh, but the children that are, are working with me, they we have boxes that Mr. Willie made and put together. Yeah, shout out to Mr. Willie, man. Mr. Willie. Yeah. Shout out to Mr. Willie. Give Mr. Willie a shout out. Yeah. This is great, man. This man helps us keep this thing going. You know what I'm saying? One thing for sure. A lot of people jump ship before the gravy train pulled off the dock. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And a lot of y'all got us doing a lot of stuff for us. Y'all called my phone. Tell me, I need to go and do this. I need to go and do that. But I ain't never seen y'all do nothing for us. I'm going to call y'all in 2022 because I can do that stuff. Yeah, a lot of y'all got y'all non-profit organizations. Y'all want people to volunteer to do something for y'all or y'all hide the background. Ooh. You got the whole concept about how this thing going down. Yeah, you your, numbers, your numbers ain't going up. There ain't nobody calling your phone. Everybody got to do their part, and when everybody do their part, they get results. And, and and I tell people all the time, when people start looking at me twist, I'm like, Look. Bob Mills, all you smart people, you ain't eat, mm. and you ain't feeding the people who trying to help you eat. Or oh, when they ain't eat, nobody, ain't oh, nobody. when they eat, they all, eat too much. All together, ain't nobody. Eat. What you mean? Uh, they eat too much. You got some greedy ones now. Well, they greedy, but the pantries is empty. Yeah. Well, yeah. You got to hit the pantry. It don't matter if you're greedy or not. Yeah, well, it's, okay. a, but it's you enough some for good, me not to. You got some good people that volunteer their time to put together and come out here and work, man, like me. I don't have I don't have no uh, I don't have no regrets. And we ain't going to stand for nothing other than to get a beat. I'm uh, the so ones that helping us, like I, the ones in Sterling Sharp. I ain't going to let people know that people are bees. Let me tell you something. A lot of places... People say we could not go. Oh man, don't go over there, man. That's the hole, man. That's the hole. Man, I don't give a damn where you at the Studio Wood, Acres Home, Fifth Ward, Third oh, Ward. I don't care where you at. You could be under the ground, partner. You can't stop the king from going nowhere because everybody know me. I'm all over the city. You know what I'm saying? I represent 
people like you know with the quick with the hip hop world, all y'all K Reno, yeah, the South Pole Coalition, all y'all over there, uh, 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 uh Mike Prince them and Rap a lot of records. I know where I'm at. I'm in the city of Houston. Okay, do you understand that? In the city of Houston is where I've been uh, for a long, long time. So we're not trying to uh pull your wool over your eyes and try to scam you out your money. But everything that's been done right now came out this man's pocket. Ain't anybody send no money this way? But guess what? I'm gonna start asking for some donations. Hey, I need them. And and, and and that's and that's the whole point. What I'm saying is that's the reason why I'm not big. And how you gonna stop me from it's doing time, what I'm doing? It's time. It's time. Because the God already allowed people, put people in our way that's gonna support and sponsor us without you. It, it, it's like the day of Pentecost. Everybody got to bring what they got to bring to the table. We got some people. And if you don't want to bring it, guess what? You curse yourself. You don't, said, don't, curse wait, don't, don't wait till, don't wait till the, the harvest is plenty, the labor is few. Mm. It's so God that get so an increase. We got a lot of harvest, but ain't nobody want to pick the stuff and flip it. Who God gave it to us for? Mm. To eat off of it and, and to have money. To have uh, Conversation yourself for you later. Anybody doing this here? No slave, no slave let me, project. Let me, let me tell you about it. Who, who, who was that that was in 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 the fields and Boaz uh, saw her? Huh? Esther? We don't know. We ain't gonna hmm? talk about that. Well, anyway, but but, but 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 no. Uh -uh. The story goes. The, he, I'm gonna just tell a story without telling the name. The king was looking out into his vineyard. It, where everything was growing at it and they were harvesting stuff. And he done already told his workmen. See that? See my crown on my head? Mm -hmm. So he had done already told his workmen, leave some out there for the pigeons. Because they need some too. Let them clean up the rest. That's enough. And then he looked out there and saw uh, this woman out there. And he, he, he saw her and he wanted her. He said, send and help her take enough of that home. Give us some good stuff. And she went home, and the lady told her, look, you go prepare yourself for this man. Go lay at his feet, and when he get ready for you, be ready. And she got her ready, and she sent her on the way. She had followed that woman because she was married to her son, and her son had died in the war or whatever. And she followed her. She was willing to do that because the king had left enough because the king is always thinking about everybody. That's what the king do. The king take care of everybody. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. If anybody tell you about a, a king's life, a king's life is lonely at the top. A king, a king's <laughs> life lonely at the is top. a lot of people. Everybody can't sit on that throne. They are problems nonstop, constantly. Mm. If it's in the physical or on the phone or on the internet, it's always, I get that all day, every day. Lonnie B. King, listen, he, look, when he show up, he, when I met him, he was telling me about that over there. Not only that, but the little league team. Oh, man, man listen, in. I'm going to tell you right now, if you want to help us and give us money so we can do what we do, I ain't going to talk to you. I'm telling you, y'all going to pay to, y'all going to pay to see me. I'm telling you right now, because the stuff that we could be doing, yeah. if everybody join in. Shout out to the little league. Houston uh, Cougars football team over there. Mason Been over there how long? 41 years. And they still stealing stuff from us. Yeah, yeah. We, we had we had the uh, after school uh, practice, after practice of uh, uh, sponsoring the feed the kids over there with blessing the skies. They got land. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We have a banquet that went down that we sponsored. We both be fixing their stands and stuff that, like that. They and, need and, lights and, out there. And, and the deal was this here. I know the deal. I know what's going on. A lot of y'all is hungry right now. You can't do nothing when you're hungry. So that's why a lot of people don't. We're going to do a fundraise people's out there. We're going to have a, we're gonna have a big concert out there. there. I'm hungry right now, too. Yeah, we're going to have a big hungry. concert out there. We're going to have food out there, too. Yeah, yeah. I, see, I see the line rolling up. If you hungry, too. You to subscribe to the channel, man. Yeah. Oh. It's going down live. Anyway. Oh, that other light. Anyway, out. anyway, it is what it is. We right here. It takes a crowd. 43, 14 years speed with the urban farmer. to give you all the information. To uh to uh to the link to where y'all can donate and make a uh, donation. Oh yeah, okay. you can you can hit me straight up. KW sixty four at live.com. 
That's my that's my Zell. Say it one more time. KW64 at live.com. You can see but I can see that on my account. That's right, them boxes with twelve hundred dollars at twelve tribe. That's what that was about. I'm trying to figure out where all the lights went on. That's the no, that's where you know we I mean all the lights went on. No, I got too much on that on that one. Anyway, break. y'all, if you enjoyed y'all tonight and y'all go check us out, man. I'm Lonnie B. King from Lonnie B. King TV show. With Kevin Williams, the urban farmer, we are the ones that will put it down, baby, for 2022. What you think? Man, listen, we putting it down. We were putting it down in 2021. We were putting it down in 2020. 2020 was the year of vision. We still on that stuff. We can see real, uh, real, real clear. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's all that is. Well, like I say, if y'all see me go on the ground, it's going to be for a reason. Because sometimes you got to back up, man. Man, so we, 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 you gonna do, pay to we, see we, me? You do so much, for you people, gonna pay to see what I you do. You don't get no response. Sometimes you gotta take care of yourself. You gotta, mm. you gotta go pull back. Push in there, hold on it. You know what I'm saying, man? So this the is Lion Be King. We live right it's here. Like y'all, y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back. Got some more stuff, man. We got piles of stuff to tell you about. And I'm not giving no shots out. I ain't gonna do that. Oh, I'm sorry. I ain't gonna be doing that because y'all need to pay for that. But you know, some of y'all. If the deal is we had the money, it'd be all right. I'm out of here, y'all. Woo! That's crazy. Nice, nice. Fuck you. Fuck you. Nice. Fuck. That was a good piece. I think this I was pulling this up real quick. Okay. Ah!